when we analyze throughout the world there are more females as compared to males in new york alone there are 1 million females more than males in usa alone there are 7.8 million females more than males in uk alone there are 4 million females more than males in germany alone there are 5 million females more than males in russia alone there are 9 million females more than males and god alone knows how many millions of females are more than the males throughout the world if i agree with a non muslim that every man should marry only one woman and suppose my sister or suppose your sister happens to live in usa and if the market is saturated every woman has found a life partner for herself yet there will be 7.8 million females who will not find husbands and if unfortunately your sister or my sister happens to live in usa and if she is amongst one of those 7.8 million females who has not found a husband what is the option she has the only option she has is that she either marries a man who already has a wife or she becomes public property <laughs> public property many people say dr zakir nai such a harsh word it is the most there's no option she either marries a man who already has a wife or becomes public property in america having mistresses is very common the american statistics tell us on an average a man has eight different sexual partners before he settles on with one eight different some may have five some may have 10 some may have 20 eight different sexual partner before he marries after marry how many has the statistics doesn't say that but before he marries he has on an average eight different sexual partners having mistress in america is common no problem 10 20 no problem having two wives doesn't go down the throat you know when a woman becomes the second wife of a man she gets honor she gets a right she lives a very peaceful life with grace with honor with all her rights and when a woman is a mistress she doesn't get a rights she has no protection she leads a life of disgrace therefore islam permits some men to have more than one wife to protect the woman and i do agree if someone tells me that no woman would like to share the husband i agree with them i don't argue i agree with you that no woman under normal circumstances would like to share the husband but the islamic sharia says let a small loss take place to prevent a big loss that means a good muslima who knows the situation of the world would not mind sharing a husband to prevent her sister from becoming a public property you ask any modest woman would she prefer becoming the wife of a man who already has a wife or becoming public property any modest woman would choose the first one sixth most common question if islam allows a man to have more than one wife why does not islam allow a woman to have more than one husband as far as marrying women is concerned the category of women a man can marry is clearly specified in surah nisa chapter 4 verse number 22 to 24 and it's mentioned in surah nisa chapter 4 verse 24 that you cannot marry a woman who's already married that means in islam a woman cannot have more than one husband before i give you the real reason imagine there's already a scarcity of women finding husband if a woman has more than one husband this scarcity will increase it will multiply the problem let's analyze what are the logical reasons that islam prohibits a woman to have more than one husband when a man has more than one wife and if any child is born out of that wedlock you can easily identify who is the father as well as who is the mother but if a woman has more than one husband and if a child is born you can identify the mother but you will not be able to identify the father <laughs> and if you go to admit that child in school and if they ask you what is the name of the father you may have to give two names <laughs> and today psychology they tell us 
that identifying the parents is very important for a healthy childhood, especially the identity of the father. If you cannot identify the parents, the child has a lot of mental trauma. Today, after science has advanced, I'm aware that there is DNA testing and genetic testing where you can identify who is the father and who is the mother. Though it's not very accurate. But even if I agree that maybe after a few years it becomes accurate. Yet, it has happened recently. All these years it wasn't there. And this is not the only reason why a woman is not allowed to have more than one husband. There are various other reasons. For example, today science tells us that a man is more polygamous in nature as compared to a woman. Today science tells us that because of the various behavioral and psychological changes that take place in a woman during menstrual cycle, she cannot do the role of multiple wives simultaneously. Whereas a man, he can do the role of multiple husbands simultaneously. Furthermore, if a woman has more than one husband or more than one sexual partner, and if all of them are loyal to each other, yet there are high chances that venereal diseases and sexual transmitted disease will emerge and it can be retransmitted back to the man whereas if a man today medical science tells us that if a man has more than one sexual partner has more than one wife and if all of them are loyal to one another there are hardly any chances of venereal diseases or sexually transmitted diseases emerging in them so scientifically also and medically it's no problem for a man to have more than one wife, but it's problematic for a woman to have more than one husband. The seventh most common question, or the seventh misconception in Islam, in the minds of non-Muslim is, that why does Islam subjugate the woman by keeping her behind the veil? Why does Islam subjugate the woman?